All right, graphing logs. So I'm just going to put some points in here. Again, not showing the calculator. You, we do in the notes and in class. Now, remember, though, now that we're doing logs, our asymptote is going to be an x equals line. Okay? It's going to be a vertical line, not a horizontal line. Exponentials are horizontal. Logarithms are, are vertical. Okay? So, when we look at this, we have our original log, and then we have our transformed log. Now, we already know how this is going to work. Inside lies right there. That's going to be left three, and then this is going to be up three. So, we're going to graph our original one, and then our um, transformed one. Now, our original one is going to have an asymptote at zero okay that's going to be our asymptote and then it's going to be a little bit different so before this was the asymptote for a logarithm i'm sorry for an exponential this is going to be our one for um a logarithm so inside lies negative four that is going to be our asymptote for our logarithm okay so now we're going to go back and get some points. So we're going to have 1, 0 here, 2, 1, 4, 2, and 8, 3. So 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 3, sorry, 4, 2, and 8, 3. My mistake. So this is going to come here and go like this, and then it's just going to ride down the line. Similar to what we did with exponentials, okay? And then on this one over here, I'll do a different color here. Uh, we have negative 3, 3, negative 2, 4, 4, 6, and off the chart, but 12, 7. So negative 3, positive 3, negative 2, positive 4, 4 up here at 6, and 12, 7, kind of right about there. So that's going to come this way, and then it's going to see that wall and just turn and ride down the line. Now, everything's kind of inverse here. So before our domain was left to right, but you can see now we have a force field, a vertical force field. So our range is going to be left and right forever. Okay? Because it's going to keep going right, and it's going to keep going left. I mean down, sorry. Oh, my brain's not working. Up and down. So it's gonna keep going up and it's gonna keep going down. That's what the range is, okay? Now left, and we're doing these on the transformed ones, left, it's never gonna go past negative four. It's going right forever, but it's not hitting negative four. And again, we use parentheses. So we already saw our transformations were left four and up three, okay? And we have 0, 5. I kind of missed it on my drawing. But that's our x-intercept. I'm sorry, the y-intercept. Never mind. But we're not going to worry about the x-intercepts on these. So don't worry about that. All right, on number 2. Uh, we have 1, 0, 3, 1, and 9, 2. Okay, so 1, 0, 3, 1, and 9, 2. Again, here, our, on our parent function, it's going to be right there like so. So we're going to come out here, and we're just going to turn at that wall. For our transformed one, we're going to have 4, negative 4, 6, negative 3, and kind of off the chart, 12, negative 2. Again, this is going to tell us where our line is. Inside lies, okay? Inside lies, that's plus 3. So, 4, negative 4. Six, negative 3. 
and 12, negative 2 out here. So that's going to kind of do this, and then right there, hit that wall, or not hit the wall, and just ride down the way. So our asymptote, again, is at x equals 3. The domain is going towards positive infinity to the right and never hitting positive 3. The range is forever down and up. Okay, our transformations, right 3, down 4. And we're not worrying about that. All right, this one, we're just doing the transform one. It doesn't hurt to put the original one in the calculator with a base of 2. Um, notice we also have a negative here, kind of interesting. So we have 2, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, and 9, 2. It's going to move right 1. That's where our asymptote is, at 1. And it's going to move up 5. So you can do these in any order you want. I like to mix it up just to keep it fresh for you. Okay, x equals 1 is our asymptote. Again, the range goes on forever and ever, up and down. It's going towards positive infinity, and it's never hitting that 1. And we're not doing that. Okay, so I'm going to put some points on here. 2, 5, right there. 3, 4, 5, 3, 9, 2. So this time it's riding up that way, never hitting. Next one, negative one, negative three, one, negative two, seven, negative one. So I'm gonna go in a different order this time. I'll do negative one, negative three, put the points on first, one, two, no, sorry, one, negative two. and 7, negative 1. Again, our asymptote is going to be at negative 2, inside lies. So it's just going to come here and ride down that wall, right next to the wall. This is going to be left 2, down 3. Again, the range does not change, up and down forever. It's going out towards positive infinity, and it's never going to hit negative 2. The asymptote is there at negative 2, and we're not messing with that. And that's it.